What's happening everyone? Jay Shockblast here and man what a weird day. So I've been playing Avengers all day on Xbox but what I've been waiting for is right here. This is Marvel's Avengers The Earth's Mightiest Edition on PlayStation 4. So obviously Spider-Man is coming to PlayStation 4. Uh, I prefer playing on Xbox personally. I'm an Xbox guy but I have a PlayStation 4. I've got the Spider-Man PlayStation 4 right there. This is the Earth's Mightiest Edition. I pre-ordered this back the day it went on sale in March during the pandemic. So the only way to get it was online. I would have much rather preferred pre-ordered this in store, but that was not an option. Uh, Best Buy is also one of the stranger companies to pre-order from. Um, so it's got this nice slip sleeve, uh, which shows you the contents. I'm still getting used to doing uh, the unboxings this way, um, but here is, you know, you got the the actual box. Got a big Avengers logo uh, right on it. And on the back, you've got all the different logos. I haven't beaten the game yet, but I'm far enough into it where I just unlocked Thor and another character. So the blue underneath here. Now I do want to show you something. One of the other things I got for pre-ordering it from Best Buy was this sick uh, steelbook, Marvel's Avengers. I believe Mark Brooks did the art. Oh, the in in inside art looks familiar too. But I want to say it was Mark Brooks. And if I'm wrong, I apologize to whoever the artist is. Yeah, I think it says there's like a little signature mark right there. And I'm fairly confident that says Brooks. It's Japanese. So the game itself does come with a steelbook. Uh, obviously, it's got the big A on it. And then it's got the icons on the back. By the way, today they confirmed our first DLC character coming in October, Kate Bishop, AKA Hawkeye. And in November, we'll get the other Hawkeye, the one you mostly know, Clint Barton. So, yeah. All right, so it's got a couple codes in it. Um, so, first things first, uh, it has the Obsidian pack. You know, I'm not gonna show it because there's codes on it. It has unlocked the Marvel Universe, first month free Marvel Unlimited. Uh, it has, which pack is this? The Obsidian pack. Looks like there's two codes for the Obsidian pack. Weird. And there's something for Final Fantasy Online. Um, yeah, I would show you, but I don't really feel like showing off my codes, so. Uh, yeah, especially since there's two. I'm struggling because like, I want to look there, but my video of what I'm doing is there. So I now have two steelbooks, both for Marvel's Avengers. But this one right here, um, this one is the coolest. It's funny because <laughs> the back art is the same it's just the front art. So, I'm a Steelbook fan, as many of you guys know. Uh, right here, we have some prints. What is this? All right. Oh, it looks like this is like a, a plan. Like for Iron Man's armor, like blueprints. I don't really know where I would put these. But yeah, they're, I mean, paper product is a very popular thing uh, that they put in any um, uh, collector's edition because they're cheap they're easy to include 
A lot of people like them. A lot of people are kind of suckers for them. I like this. I might actually get this framed as if it was like... I'll tell you, man. I'm far enough into the story that I love Kamala Khan. Like, might have a crush on her. Even though she's a little young for me. But, no. I mean, she's like fantastic. Oh, wow. There's like a really cool picture of A-Day. So... Oh, wow. Haha. <laughs> Too bright. Finally met my heroes, and one day they'll reassemble. So that's cool. Um, extra creepy right now because she's like literally a child in that picture. Oh man. Oh, this looks sick. I like coins. I have a bunch of coins on my desk. Um, oh, this is a pin. Oh, I like pins too. So this is an Avengers pin. It says honorary Avenger. Speaking of pins, you gotta admit, it goes really cool. I can pick it up, hold it properly. But it's pretty cool next to the J Shock Blast Thor pin. So yeah, that's cool. Like methodically taking this part. And the next part better be cool. Alright, it's like taped. Yes, I'm wearing an X-Men t-shirt. It's like a take on Infinity War. Um, it's really the first Marvel t-shirt I could find. I'm trying to be on theme. see the stack of stuff I got going over here. Alright, what do we got here? This is just an empty box. What do we got here? Ooh, I think this is a belt buckle? It's got Thor's hammer, so this must be the Mjolnir. Um, oh, wow. I have a story to share, okay? This is way cooler than the one that I got. When we got Thor... My dog, Thor, it's a boxer. It's got this Thor Mjolnir keychain. It's very, very heavy. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can nail in some nails with this bad boy. We got one that wasn't quite this big, but I got one like this. And I put it on his dog collar when we got him. And pretty sure he gave himself a concussion best dog owner in the world J-Shock last so that keychain lasted on his dog collar for an hour not even an hour like 10 minutes maybe not even 10 minutes I like it how the boxes are marked it tells you what's in what like Kamala Khan had an icon on the pin. This is obviously Black Widow's belt buckle, who surprisingly is my favorite character not named Thor in the game. And this is actually really cool. I'm not gonna obviously use it as a belt buckle, but wow. Has like a code on the back. I don't know if that's TLS sus93967. So look at this. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this for, but look at that, that's pretty sick. It's like, it's pretty solid. So this is a, you're getting very good value out of this. Um, I don't think I showed the game disc. I don't know that anybody would necessarily want to see it. It has the same interior as the other Steelbook. So like really all they did was put that uh, artwork on the cover instead of the icons, and they called it a seal book. All right. Here comes the item I was least excited for out of all of them. Um, this is the Hulk bobblehead. And don't get me wrong, I like bobbleheads like the next guy. It just looked very plasticky. Hopefully I'm loud enough. Um, 
So yeah, it looked very plasticky. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's like it's autographed, though. I mean, this is this is a traditional bobblehead. Hulk's not really my favorite character, but... But it does say Love Tony on the... Oh, wow! It says Love Tony, and then it has like a fake $2 price tag on it. So, that's cool. I'm like putting this back together all properly. I feel I'm still getting used to doing the unboxings this way. Um, so I'm not like 100% sure I love it. I can't figure this out. I'm not 100% sure I love it. There we go. No? All right, we'll put that over there. The main event, okay. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I am a big fan of statues, and this is the Captain America statue. Now, I have one like Batman uh, from, I wanna say Arkham Knight, but it might be Arkham City, just like it. Oh, this is pretty cool. Um, it's very, very lightweight, so uh, there's a lot of dead air space um i would say it's on par maybe with a you know your traditional um marvel legends figure except it's i mean it's got great articulation uh as you can kind of see hollow statue says this nation was founded on one principle above all else the requirement that we stand up for what we believe, no matter the odds or the consequences. Steve Rogers, Captain America. Very poignant statement to make in this day and age. So, very cool. So, thumbnail. So that's how we gotta do it now. I mean, that's, that's what everybody likes to see. So this is the statue, it's really cool. Um, you know, I like it a lot. I really do. I like this Captain America costume. I like the shield. Shield, like, when you look at the back of the shield, I don't know if I can really get a good angle on it. But, like, you can tell the usefulness of it. Like, you can tell there's, like, you know, it's not just a shield with a handle on it. Um, there's, like, some mechanics to it. But this is really articulated well, so... Uh, very, very happy to have this. And uh, that is the Marvel's Avengers uh, Steel or Collector's Edition. I also got this today. You might like it. Marvel Zombie Magneto Funko Limited Edition uh, Funko Store Exclusive. I do want to share one story before we go. Um, and then again, get Steve out of here. Uh, just in case I go with this. Um, <laughs> UPS, man, killing me today. Um, so my packages don't normally arrive until late in the afternoon, evening. It's currently 621 Eastern time as I make this video now. Um, I think you'd rather see this instead of me. Um, I paid $8 extra so that um, it would be here between 9.15 and 11.15. It arrived at 5.45. It's a scam. If you ever see it, don't do it. It's a scam. Um, but yeah, man, what do you guys think? Who are you looking forward to playing as the most? Uh, today we got confirmation Kate Bishop, Clint Barton, and Black Panther rest in peace uh chadwick boseman such a tragic loss um i thought about making a video the other night and actually i tried to make a video the other night about 20 times couldn't do it just really heartbroken over the whole thing and um yeah man it just sucks i guess they were going to show something black panther related today uh during the stream but they decided not to um out of respect and courtesy. So we've got 
Captain America, Steve Rogers. There is the collector's edition. I have a mess on my desk I have to clean up. And I gotta load this dang game onto the system uh, so that we can get started on PS4. And I gotta finish the story on Xbox One. We'll see it.